Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. If hiking, backpacking and wild camping are your thing, please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel is all about. Right, we're into day two of my three days in the wild trip to the Lake District. This is a proper backpacking trip, uh, solo wild camping. There's just me on my own with all of the elements and I mean absolutely all of them. <laughs> what was that to the day? It's just so bad out there. It really, really is. It's just the most amazing place. Somehow got to get across this. I'm just being protected from some of the wind by the Khan. Look, the sun's come out. What the hell's going on? It's absolutely, it's ridiculous. God, you've got to love the lakes. you just got to love them. Four seasons in a day, possibly the most perfect, perfect spot. Uh, the Scarps done me reasonably proud. It's been all right. Um, could have been a little bit better, but the conditions are really, really bad. So this is what this morning looks like. Very, very wet and windy. Oh, good morning. <laughs> what was that to the day? Oh, there's nothing good about this morning. My gosh, relentless wind and rain. Oh, relentless. Right, so it's quarter past seven and the rain's actually getting worse really 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 don't want to get out of the sleeping bag and off the sleeping mat it's been so comfy right so this wasn't the plan the rain's just getting gradually worse now so we've had no choice but yeah boiling water in my tent i've got the vent open but it's just so bad out there. It really, really is. One moan that I do have is, I know the ground's saturated, but there's definitely a bit of water coming through the bathtub floor in my tarp tent scarp one, which I'm not happy about. Um, there's definitely more around where it seems sealed on the floor so when they seem to when i packed my new sleeping pad away i noticed that the bottom of it was wet so which is not ideal right the rain stopped for five seconds so quick video got myself coffee i've got my protein porridge just fuel porridge from tesco's um, doesn't weigh anything, takes up a little bit of space, but it's really, really, really tasty. So I've got to make a dash for it at some point. Putting this tent away is going to be impossibly difficult. Um, but then crack on with the day, there's lots to do. So let's assess the uh, tent. It was getting battered all night. So... Let's have a quick look around it. So let's have a look around my tarp tent scarp one. Now I haven't touched these guy lines once. So not once, I've just did them properly last night and left them. And it all seems to be in one piece. It's held really, really well, I've got to say. Um, it is a noisy tent in the rain with the crossing poles on, that's for sure. But there was no flappy fabric. Right, got a break from the rain. Thank God. Right, so I've got Angletown Pikes behind me, which is the first Wainwright of the day. As you can see, huge amount of water last night and this morning. All the footpaths all along here, uh, basically like streams and rivers. But have a look, have a look at Angleton. Look at this. 
you can see why so many people come here. It's just the most amazing place. Really does feel remote. Uh, the three lads that were camping last night, same as me, no sleep whatsoever. But I'm sure they had plenty of fun. So today, the idea is to try and stay as dry as possible. Um, I had to pack up in the pouring rain, which is just the absolute worst thing that can happen to you. It's, that's not fun at all. But yeah, the cracking spot over there, the other side. Um, yeah, let's see what today brings. So first summit of the day, Angle Tarn Pikes. I'm on Pike 1 of 2, but the view from around here is just spectacular. It really, really is. That is Angle Tarn. Bit blowy again, but wow. Now, got some serious miles to do, so I need to crack on. Look at the paths. It's just streams today. Right, so I've come down from Angle Pikes, um, out of the elements, or most of them anyway, which is, uh, yeah, it's really nice, I'm not going to lie. So, in my place called Brookin, which is near Patterdale, um, it's great being, uh, by sea level again, however that does mean one thing and one thing only, the next. Wainwright is going to be hard, it's going to be really hard. And I think the plan is to take on St Sunday Crag to get to Fairfield, which is an absolute beast. So, yeah, wish me luck. Wow, look at this. Wow, never ever seen one of those before. I right, might be in trouble here. Somehow, Got to get across this board, and if I get it wrong, then I'll be white water back rafting for the rest of the day. So, this, this isn't going to be good. Oh my gosh, at least I've got my lecky poles. Boom, made it. I'll save that for someone else. I'm sure someone's going in there today. View of Owls Water, oh, the sun shining now. Oh, the lakes just look so, so good when the sun's out. That's oh, a Chinook. Oh, wow. God, look how low he is. Oh, my gosh. If he's 20 metres off the ground, I'd be surprised. That is so close. Wow. Right, so quick stop to eat before summit St. Sunday Crag. So chicken fried rice. I need 350 ml of water. Or I'm going to try and do, try and get a coffee out of it because I need a bit of uh, caffeine, need a bit of rocket fuel. So let's get this in there. But this is the water that I've got, unless I take everything out my backpack to get to the hydration reservoir, which I really don't want to do. See, this is where I came from yesterday. 
where you can see in the middle there, there's a V came down there, back up, then up again, back onto High Street, right at the back. Then there was that dodge that had to come up right at the end. And then you can see the angle turn pipes there. And then this morning, basically come down here, down to Rookin and Patterdale, and just working my way up to Sunday Crag. Okay, so this is Burks. Wouldn't recommend it with backpack, it's a hiking route, it's just way, way, way too steep. That's some Sunday Crag. Over here we've got Capsity Cam and Helvellyn. So nice and high now, just got to finish it off. Angle Tarn looks a long, long, long way away now. Long way away. So just some it's in Sunday Crag. Now on to Fairfield. It's, uh, the wind's picking up now, just over the other side of the mountain. However, I've got a lovely view of Grisel Tarn. I'm just going to take a minute just to take it all in. That was my main achievement of this trip was to do St Sunday Crag. It's an absolute monster of a mountain and I did it so, so happy. Made it to the top of Fairfield. I'm just being protected from some of the wind by the Khan. Ah, oh, what a nightmare. It's, I didn't realise how difficult it was to get up here from St Sunday Crag. So I had to traverse the mountain. Ah, oh, thank God for my trekking poles because I could never have done it without that. Um, it was either traverse it or go all the way back down to Grisdale Tarn, which would have taken me a long, long, long time to get back up. Um, round about lunchtime, I've sort of realised that I didn't have enough food with me to do the full route that I wanted to today. So I did the best thing you can do and cut it short. You know, the lakes are punishing. You know, if you if you if you get it wrong, you're in big trouble. Ah, oh, the wind's just stopped. Bit of chat time. Ah, oh, some. Cutting the corner now, off to Dove Crag. Oh, the sun's come out for me. <laughs> this place is ridiculous. 15 minutes ago, it was like raining, howling wind, couldn't stand up. Look, the sun's come out, what the hell's going on? It's absolutely, it's ridiculous. Oh my God, you've got to love the lakes. you just got to love them. Four seasons in a day. Just before the wind comes again, I've got a lovely, lovely view of Windermere. Oh, it doesn't do it justice from what I can see. That is... Oh, there's something else. See, you can see pretty much the whole of Windermere from up here. Oh, super. So that's Hart Crag. Summited. Oh, this is good. I've got one more to go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I can't wait to get that done. What an amazing adventure. What a fantastic day, too. I, I didn't achieve as much as I wanted, but you got to be realistic. This is a lake district, you know, it's not a walk in a park. And, um, it's taken nothing away from it whatsoever. It really, really hasn't. Um, it's just so rewarding. All these, all these peaks, all these views. Ah, oh, I never get bored of Lake District. And look at that rainbow. So here we are, Scandale Tarn. Exhausted. 
stomach's just completely empty. I have totally, totally emptied myself today. So, quick pitch, get the food on. Right, so we're here at Black Brow and Little Heart Crag. Um, I might see if I can pitch. It's promised. Rather than at the tart that I always had in mind. Um, just want a sheltered position after having no sleep last night. Um, but it's a lovely, lovely, lovely little little crag this is. I'd love to try and see if I can wild camp around here. Sun is probably not far from setting. You'll be able to see the sun, here we go, on the mountain setting. It's just, ah, oh, stunning. I've found possibly the most perfect, perfect spot. Look at that. Look at that view. Awesome. Little Hart Crag overlooking Brothers Water. It's far phenomenal. Phenomenal up here. It's, it's one of those nice surprises when you go wild camping and you don't, you know, you've got an idea of where you would like to pitch, but then all of a sudden you come across a spot and oh, you feel it in your heart where I've uh, got a nice little ledge. I've got to be careful when I um, wake up for a pee in the night. Um, I've got some friends over here. Um, some black ones, some white ones, lots of sheep. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm actually, I'm buzzing. I, I cannot wait for this one. And my little scarp one. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to open that door. I'm going to be overlooking Brother's Water. It's just going to be so, so nice. Right. I am absolutely starving. Oh, beyond that, my stomach, my stomach actually feels achy. It's so, so, so hungry. Tonight, I've got chicken fajita with rice. I've had that before, that's really, really good. And chalky pudding, I deserve that. God, I deserve that. So, my little jet ball stash, done really well actually. I just wanted to make my bag as light as possible, which is a bit of a joke, because it <laughs> weighs 16 kilos. But I did, believe it or not, I did actually try to make it reasonably light. They all think miserably, but, you know, with their kit choices, um, you just, if you need it, you need it, you know, like, you know, what happens if I didn't take my first aid kit and then I got injured, you know, as it turns out, it might be a waste of time, but I didn't know that. Um, you know, you just don't know these things. You know, I bought a lot of spare clothes, which I did use. Um, but still stuff in there that probably didn't really need. It's just really, really, it's just really difficult to get that right. You know, I'd always be careful when, when I look at what people take with them while camping. Um, because conditions change all the time. Wow, what a way to finish day two. It's, uh, it's been brilliant. 
you know, three days in the wild, fully self-sufficient, didn't give in, didn't stop at any shops or, you know, stop for a fried breakfast or something like that. You know, I wanted to see what it was like being totally, totally self-sufficient on the contents of your backpack. But oh, I just feel so fortunate, so, so fortunate, come out here and basically have this place to myself, you know. I don't want to say anything about the weather because if it had been like glorious weather, chances are everyone would have been out and you know wouldn't have felt you know like proper wild camping you know proper backpacking you know just you and you and your backpack you and your tent you know and that's that's what I wanted to that's what I wanted to feel so I certainly feel like I've done that. Um, I would just say, you know, to ah, oh, to everyone, you know, sometimes you just got to get out there. Get, you know, I've yeah, okay, I've brought my phone with me, but that's for safety purposes. You know, I've well, there's no phone signal in Lake District really, anyway, so. Um, but it's been great to like, you know, get off the socials, get off your emails, um, and just be, you know, comfortable in your own company, which <laughs> scarily, I've, I've, I really have been quite happy doing that. Um, I wouldn't want to do it all the time, don't get me wrong, but it's been really nice while it's lasted. Right, let's go on a little night hike, see what we can find. Never really done this before, never had a head torch good enough to do this. This is a through night head torch, but it's a uh, it's really good quality. It's, oh, it's some some crazy lumens. More than more than I'd ever need, that's for sure. And let's actually give it a proper go. Let's see what's in there. Let's see what's in there. Let's have a look up here. Just have to remember where I came from. <laughs> God, look at this, look at that mane. Probably bump into another person while camping that I didn't know about. It's me saying I've been on my own all this time. Probably right next to me. Oh, look at this. Look at that. You can see my little tent. How cool is that? <laughs> wow. Right. That's my little night hike done. So this is what I've done today. So stayed at Angleton last night, then got on the main track, then made my way up to the Angleton Pikes, did both of those, came back down, all the way down to Rookin, to Patterdale, then started to make my way towards St Sunday Crag, so came up here. This bit was ridiculous with a backpack on, leave that to the hikers, that was just, that was, that was just crazy. Um, made my way up to Burke's, 
since Sunday crag, which was stunning, always wanted to do that. Now hit a big, big, big problem, Kofa pikes or Kofa pikes, that's, that's proper hiking, that is uh, slash mountaineering. So I made the right decision to come off the track, traverse the mountain and got back up here so I could get back onto Fairfield. Then made my way down to Hart Crag, to Dove Crag, and then where I'm wild camping tonight to Little Hart Crag. Right, so quick summary of today. Deered about 11 and a half miles and I think it was 1,500 metres. So good bit of exercise today. Um, certainly felt it at the end. There's no doubt about that. Shoulders are a bit achy, but I can't really complain too much. There's 16 kilos in that. I think the Osprey does a good job of that. Feet aren't too bad. Those Aku boots. You've got those super strong soles, so you don't get any pressure points. Um, feet, are, feet are pretty good as well, to be honest. Look, um, big surprise for me was my legs. My legs feel great, so I could quite. I reckon I could do a week of this, which is you know something something good to know. Um, but yeah, it's been really interesting. Um, some kit is definitely, definitely better than others, which I will go through. Um, yeah, there's no doubt about that. But some of the kits really excelled, which is great. And I'll share all that with you. So the weather's obviously miles better than last night. Um, some blue sky out there, which means it shouldn't rain. Um, but it's probably going to be freezing, which... That probably suits the gear I've got because I was just a bit too warm last night and this damn sleeping bag's ro roasting. It's like you've got an electric blanket on that. So, um, yeah, I actually look forward to it getting a little bit cooler. Um, wind, who knows around there? It's still at the moment, but that means absolutely nothing. I don't believe it. It wasn't a cloud in the sky. And now it's raining. Just as I'm trying to get to bed. Classic Lake District. <laughs> 